Hey up everybody, last week I left you on the big one, the big aqueduct, but this week now sees me turning left and going on to the Langothlan main line, which takes me all the way up to Langothlan Basin. Now, it's about a two and a half hour journey, but it took me about four hours. <laughs> Absolute nightmare because I got a really deep drafted boat. So for those of you who have a deep one, watch this, because this shows you that you can do it, you just gotta be careful. So I hope you enjoy guys, and I'll see you later. So here we are now, we're actually going to go down into Gully Basin and I've never been down here before. So the thing is, with a boat like mine that has a massive propeller, it is really, really important that you stay to the centre of the canal, it's right in the middle of the channel. Because if you come out slightly, you can just get stuck and it's a nightmare, you hear it scraping along your boat. So I'm really concentrating talking to you guys. I'm really concentrating, trying to stay in the middle of the channel. Very important. So it's suddenly gone very, very shallow. And I can even hear it scraping in the middle. Um, luckily, I'm going to get black later this year. I do get blacked every two years um, and I'm due. So I've got to try and find myself somewhere that'll do it first. Yeah, it's really important that you look after your hulls, guys. And what blacking is, you take your boat out of the water and put some protection on it and just check it over, which is really important to do. So lots of people have asked about pudding, Captain Pugwash. Well, he's, uh, they've asked what breed he is. Well, he's a pug. He's a pug. And he's an old pug. He's 12. And, well, he's nearly 12. He'll be 12 in a couple of weeks. Jogging! It's 20 past 7 in the morning. The jog has just gone past. I just don't get jogging. I don't get, oh, I'll set my alarm, get up early and go jogging. No! So I'm just going in a really, really slow tick over pace. And the main reason for that is when you put on your revs, your propeller it digs down the boat and you go lower into the water. So this is what kept happening. Every time I went out of tick over and put some revs on, I'd just get stuck right in the middle channel. So I just learned from it and just stayed in tick over all the way. What am I doing? What am I doing? I know it's a shallow canal. I know it's a really narrow canal. And I thought, oh, let's sit my deep drafted boat up there. It'll be fun. Well, hey. Hello, gorgeous. One advantage to travelling with another boat, because I've still got Gareth and Lou behind me, is if one of you gets stuck, you can pull each other off. Hey! So this is a place that you need to stop at and send someone ahead to check that it's clear, because you can only get one boat through the narrows. You can't overtake each other. So there's two boats coming through now um, at the Narrows. We've had to hold back and there's now six of us now. We've got a convoy of six. That's how slow we've been going. But yeah, so there's a, so setting, getting up at six o'clock in the morning to set off. It didn't really work, did it? But there's uh, two coming through now on these Narrows. So this section is about 300 meters of Narrows now. Good hell. Um, and then I think there's another section further on, we'll see.
Lots of people said to me, Heidi, do not go up the Langothan in the summer. It's just manic. Well, I came up in July and I've been here now all the way through August as well. And it's actually beginning of September this week. And I have to say, it's absolutely a beautiful canal. And yes, there's lots of boats, but everyone is in good spirits and they're all happy. And it's so lovely, that energy of happy boaters. It's amazing. So uh, I highly recommend doing it in the summer. You can find your quiet places to moor if you want to. We've not had any problem at all getting any, any of the visitors moorings. So, you know, I don't know why everyone says avoid it in the summer. No, don't. It's absolutely amazing. Come up here, everyone. Beautiful. So it's looking now that we, the canal has been cut straight down the side of this, uh, this mountain. We're going through it absolutely amazing and back in the day they didn't have all the equipment that we have these days a lot of it was done by hand tools and by hand outstanding so that was all fun and games we just had to play a little bit of narrowboat tetris um, because there were six of us coming this way there was everyone was coming out the basin at the same time so it was absolutely a manic. So we've just had to like try and shift one boat round another boat round another boat um, one at a time. And I'm actually stuck. Uh, but yeah, it's all fun and games. Obviously we've lowered the tone of the place because I've put up the pirate flag. <laughs> Got to bring a bit of fun to the waterways. So we're now moored at the amazing Langothlan Basin and it's only £6 a night to moor here and there's electric as well. So we've had our washing machine going non-stop. Got all the washing out hanging up to dry. It's absolutely beautiful here. Langothlin and we're having an explore, spending money. It's fabulous weather, lots yeah. of pubs. <laughs> often get asked how do we get our shopping to the boat well this is one of the ways we go we just need some granny trolleys that's all you need get yourself a granny trolley and you can do anything you need you just got to walk a few miles but in this lovely weather who cares I mean look at this so Gareth's got a big and so we can carry more stuff but we're happy looking like old ladies with our granny trolleys <laughs> See, some granny trolleys and rucksacks. That's another good thing to have when you live on a boat, a rucksack. Brilliant, I've got all my gin, my rum, and my tonics in my rucksack. <laughs> so the only downside of this is when you've got a massive hill like this. Let me show you. My goodness, it's too much. Oh, this hill. Great views, but uh, just to get all this rum back to the boat, it's a killer. 
to get your heart pumping, doesn't it? Hey? <laughs> it's like having a big one, Gareth. No. Oh, not at all. Oh, that's why I drink spirits and not cans of beer. Because cans of beer are a lot heavier. <laughs> We're nearly home now. Downhill and we'll be back in the Langothlan Basin. Oh, see, every day is an adventure. <laughs> Got the cobs on, the barbecues on, the beers are flowing. What more do you need? Massive thank you to Mark for the bottle of uh, Captain Morgan's rum. Um, big thank you, lovely to meet you the other day. Everyone thinks that I'm a head, but I'm not honest. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Come with me drinking, buddy. Cheers, Mark. Hey, see you later.